So many of us Android users prefer custom ROMs over the stock software of our devices, believing that we gain better performance. So just how much is that actually true? Let's find out. I feel paralyzed. Hey guys, it's Techius. So in this video, I'll be putting to the test the performance of a custom ROM against the performance of a stock ROM that's from an OEM. So in this case, I have chosen the LG G3 as the subject. And to represent the custom ROM, I'm using the most popular one out there, Cyanogen Mod 14.1, uh, which is basically Android 7.1.1 Nougat uh, against the stock Android Marshmallow for the LG G3. So this is going to be an interesting comparison because even though CM 14.1 is based on the latest and the better version of Android, it is not as stable or well optimized as the stock ROM, the stock software from LG. So let's just see how these two softwares go through a virtual obstacle course or famously known as the phone buff style speed test with having identical resources. Okay, as you can see, both softwares are coming after a fresh reboot and they, we're just gonna start the stopwatch right here and then go straight into the system apps. Both softwares seem to be handling the first few apps just fine. And then, yes, going into Snapchat, both are at neck to neck and then and we're gonna go to the games. As you can see, yes, we might have a slight difference over here. With the CM loading, Asphalt 8, just slightly quicker than the stock LG version. And then, currently, CM is running to solve the surface. And the stock LG is still on its tail. So, this could be very interesting. This is a lot closer than. Uh, I had expected. And, and now CM is loading smash hit right now. So both app, both softwares are loading trip diving and see and it's just now loading for a shop fix and that's no problem and now going into the video converter CM is actually one app ahead. So with this processing step we're gonna check the processing power that's enabled by both the softwares and given that uh, these both are using the same hardware, we can uh, correctly identify which software is more optimized. And as you can see, the CM is actually converting at a much higher rate than the stock LG. So, right now, CM is showing better performance. However, there's also another round, so that's still pretty much time for the stock uh, marshmallow on the edge to catch up to the custom ROM. And now, going into the web browser. After loading up uh, both the mobile and the full version of Amazon.com, we are gonna go ahead and start the new lap. And as you can see, Sanjay Mod actually finishes first uh, with a time of three minutes four seconds. And now it's going through the second lap again. And now the stock LG has just finished the first lap at a time of three minutes and thirteen seconds. So there's not much difference, couple of seconds uh, apart. Uh, however, this lap will determine everything because now both softwares are being tested uh, of their memory management. Okay, as you can see, 
the Sanjay mod is not able to keep most of its apps open as it has only Snapchat and Asphalt 8 in its memory. However, the stock LG software is quite a bit better at keeping apps running in the background. Well, as it only fails to load Subway Surfer so far. And now going to smash it, CM does not have it, but the LG does have it. All right, so LG does not have flip diving running in the background and so does the CM 14.1. So far, both are neck to neck. So this could be a very close race. All right, so LG has just finished downloading. Uh, let's see, okay, so it has Photoshop uh, in its memory and uh, what do you know, rest of the apps it had kept in memory. So that finished. The LG software finishes first with a time of 4 minutes and 36 seconds. And now the CM is, well, struggling to finish as it has to start the rest of the apps because uh, it failed to keep it running in the background. Okay, so the CM finally finishes with a time of 5 minutes and 3 seconds. So that's almost a half a minute. You could clearly see that uh, CM had the upper hand in the first round itself, which meant that uh, Sanjay Mod, that's based on Android Nougat, is clearly uh, well living up to its expectations, obviously loading apps much quicker, but uh, not significantly, just slightly quicker than uh, the Android Marshmallow on the LG. However, it does fail to keep most of its apps running in the background, which allowed the stock LG software to catch up and actually win by quite a big margin, considering that these two devices are identical, or the only difference is the software that's running on them. So I hope this video cleared up any doubts you had uh, on the performance of a custom ROM, especially Sanjay Mod. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and, and comment down below if you want any other custom ROMs uh, put to the test. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.